Hey guys, today we're going to be expressing a remainder as a fraction or a decimal. How do we do that? It's okay, we got it. You can do it. It's not that hard. So let's go over what we've been doing so far. So we're going to try with 127 divided by 5. And if you know anything about 5s, we know that this doesn't end with a 0 or a 5. So we know that we're going to have a remainder but we're, we're gonna write it as a fraction or keep going and have it as a decimal. So what does this look like? Let's, let's start with our traditional algorithm. So 127 divided by five. We're gonna write our, does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers acronym over here, just to make sure that we get all of the steps. So let's start, one divided by five. Can we do that? Absolutely not. We cannot do one divided by five. So we're gonna put an X or a zero on top there. And, but we can, we do 12. 12 divided by five. Yes, we can do 12 divided by five. It goes into, five goes into 12 two times. So we divided. Multiply two times five is going to be 10. So I'm gonna put that right below the 12. Subtract 12 minus 10 is going to be two. Check, most important step, is two less than five? Absolutely, we can keep going, we're, we're good. So we're gonna bring down the seven. Bring down the seven. 27. So 27, we're gonna start over, 27 divided by five, it's going to be five times. Five times five is 25. Subtract, 27 minus 25 is two. Check. Most important step, two is less than five. So since two is less than five, we are good. Bring down, we don't have anything to bring down. So this is where we decide, do we want to write this as a remainder? A write a remainder as a fraction, or are we gonna continue going as a decimal? For the first time, we're gonna write it as a fraction. So how would this be written as a fraction? Well, we could say we have two remaining, so two, so two, how many makes up a whole well, five. Since we're putting them in five, we're dividing it by five. So we're, our goal, our, so since we're dividing by five, our remainder is going to be two fifths. So two out of five, since five is makes up the whole group. So that's how we could write it. So we could say that 127 divided by five is 25 and two fifths. This line in the middle, it can mean a division sign, so we have two divided by five still. That's how we can also think about it. 25 with two divided by five remaining, or two fifths remaining. Now how do we write this as a decimal? So let's split it here, and we're gonna write this as a fraction, remainder as a fraction, and this is gonna be remainder as a decimal. So now let's continue on. We're gonna do the same thing, 127 divided by five, and we're gonna write it in traditional algorithm, five. So 127 divided by five. We're gonna do the same steps. Does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers? So one divided by five, we decided we can't do that, but we can, so we can put a zero there, but we can do 12 divided by five. So 12 divided by five is going to be two. Two times five is 10. Subtract 12 minus 10 is going to be two. Two is less than five, so we're still good. To bring down, so now I can bring down the seven. 27 divided by five. Well, we said that five goes into it five times, so we divided it. Five times five is 25. We're going to subtract two remaining. Is two less than five? Yes, but now this is where we, it, we diverge from the fraction as a remainder. What always comes to the right of a whole number? What imaginary thing, even if you don't see it, what's always there? Yeah, a decimal, there is always a decimal there. And what can we always add that doesn't change the value well, we can add a zero. It doesn't change the value of this number. It still has a value of 127. That doesn't change. So we have to add the decimal and zero. Value doesn't change. But now we have something to bring down. But the most important thing we need to do is bring the decimal to the top. Like it never, never stop. Bring a decimal to the top. Like it never, never stop. 
one hop. All right, so we're gonna bring down the zero now. So now we have something to bring down. We had added a decimal to zero, we can bring down the zero. We're only gonna bring down the zero, we're not bringing down a decimal. We just put it into the quotient on the top. Make sure that our quotient has a decimal in the right place. Because we don't want this number, we want this number to stay the same. We still want it to be 25. So now we have 20 divided by five. Well, can we do that? Absolutely, we can. So four, 20 divided by five is four. We are going to multiply, four times five is 20. Subtract, 20 minus 20 is zero. Check, zero less than five, yes. And do we have anything else to bring down or do we need to bring anything else down? No. Now, if we had some more remaining, could we add another zero? Absolutely, and we could continue on and keep going to the hundredths place, the thousandths place, the ten thousandths place, the hundred thousandths place. We can continue on unless it repeats and then we want to stop the repeating. But for now, we can look at this as the quotient for 127 divided by five is going to be 25 and four tenths. So that's the same thing as 25 and two fifths. All right, so that is it. That's all we had to do. All right, so on the left side, we want you to solve two different problems. We want you to solve 15 divided by two and 135 divided by four. And we want you to express both of these as a fraction and as a decimal. So you're gonna do the same thing that we did over here, but over here with these two problems. Now, if you need help, just remember what we did with a fraction. We had this remaining out of five, our divisor. So two out of five remaining. And over here, we just continue. We added a decimal after the whole number in our dividend and a zero. Doesn't change anything. Important thing is to bring it to the top like it never, never stop, and then bring down the zero. Do not bring down the decimal, just bring down the zero. That's it, you got this. You are awesome, you can do it, you're amazing. Good job, guys.